Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to test box ends, not that kind of box ends. USA versus Taiwanese made. We got the cobalt here made in Taiwan and uh, the fap off made in, oh, not branded, but I assume, well, <laughs> you know, assuming makes a fool out of you and me, but I assume, according to the price, these are made in the US and A. So we're going to test these out, but first, of course, we're going to test the swing as well as the slop. People like to call this backlash, but it's not really backlash because backlash is just the slop in the in the gear teeth. This we're taking up all the slop in the train itself. Okay, we're at 28.9 degrees. We're going to click to the next tooth, 28.9. And that is at now 16.2 which gives us a grand total of 12.7 degrees to get to a new tooth and 4.3 degrees of slop before it tightens up, AKA backlash. Now we have the <laughs> radioactive, highly toxic, uh, heavy metal element, cobalt. No surprise, the, the irony is not lost on me. We'll try here, and yes, we are comparing apples to bananas because this is a flex head. Surprise, surprise, surprise the first. 10 degrees, so even tighter, and 4.9 degrees of slop, so just slightly sloppier, even with the weeble wobbles of this. I can't get it to show you. Yeah, yeah, you can see that weeble wobble in there. Still tighter than the fap off. Uh oh. <laughs> a leak and of all things while I was filing breaking the edges all right hurt like a mofo HPHT to the rescue I'll just tape it up for now till my wife gets home and I can soak it the astute amongst us fair viewers has noted that I got a hate on for these cobalt fair well with good reason I was on the big island uh, doing a job this was maybe two years not long ago and I bought a set of these metric and standard didn't didn't travel with any tools of course going into the states the the land of tools, also imperial entanglements and so forth at the barter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the 13 millimeter, right off the hop, crib death. Didn't work at all. I fucking give her one little tweak and uh, just shattered into a bazillion people here on the ooh, Freudian slip. Ooh. Maybe 11. There was a brief zone out there. Booby break. And here we go. rather anticlimactic it looked like it broke right at the joint and we see the failure of sheared that pivot pin right clean or now look at this though she bit good look at that now the beauty about uh, leaded 1045 
<laughs> it's beautiful to machine because it's right full of lead, but uh, it's also quite soft as witnessed by these indentations here. Here we go with the strap on. It's a little different style as well. Quite a bit meatier in through this ring and it's got a reversing pawl. Two half inch bolts tied in here to the reaction member. Ah. And maybe what we'll do, tweak that back a little bit. And turn it around actually, so it's closer into here. I'm seeing too much deflection for my liking. Ah, that is 10. Thousand PSI. Yikes. <laughs> Yet again, I gotta take every. Maybe I should put an extension hose on this. That might be an idea, eh? Okay, it's given. Oh, I think we're bottomed out. Make sure here we're bottomed up. I think we're bottomed out on the torque wrench. It's at the end of its movement. It's only got a sixth of a, no, a twelfth of a turn. It won't go to a full flat. It'll go to a half a flat, so that's a twelfth of a turn. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Completely rooped. But wait, there's more. A clue. Ah, ah. Strip the fastener. Wasn't the, uh, wasn't the wrench at all. In fuck, incredible, man. Especially on the 12 point. That's uh, that's something else. We got to go to the good book for this. Not that old one with the old curmudgeon in it. The new good book. Bring in some tool steel, wow. Uh. Okay, well, we had a look at the two inch round stock of tool steel and after pulling the Roger Rabbit routine with the eyeballs popping out and the hauga hauga, I decided I better have a look at the numbers and they come out 355 foot pounds for this guy and 432 foot pounds for this guy. Now in kilopascals meters squared, that'd be, oh, I don't know, 500. 450 and 500 something like that now you look at this that's a three quarter that's three quarters across the flats 19 millimeter that's a 12 millimeter fastener course or a half inch fastener course you look at the torque that that takes only takes a hundred foot pounds uh, that, that's to get but 75 percent of proof load so you add another 25 percent to that you're at 125 foot pounds and then you're going to start yielding the fastener. So you look at ultimate strength and maybe you might get 200 foot pounds before you shear the thing clean half in two. So the fact that we can do twice that to, to what a typical fastener can handle, we can do twice that with the tool. I mean, the things are skookum as frig. Incredibly skookum. More skookum even than the 3 8 drive square, the 3 8 square drive ratchets. These things, I mean, just fucking incredible. Incredibly strong. So, I'm gonna take a pass on ordering the machine tool steel because, quite frankly, these things are so overbuilt anyway that you're never in a million years gonna break this before you break a little half inch fastener. You might wear it out, mind. It might get dirty. You might abuse it with a hammer, but you're never gonna break it straight out by using it proper. At 12 inches, you're gonna pull on this with 432 pounds. 
If you can do that, dear Lord, your poor dingus, and you best get somebody else to do it because you'll pull the head of it clean off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice.